So this is going to be my first impressions review of the DB Power A8. This, this this one right here, the DB A8. That that one, this one. Um, so I just got it a little while ago. I'm not going to show you my room because it's absolute disaster. Like it's the just most disgusting thing you will ever see. But um, pretty much I already recorded this video once, and it was with. The world's oldest Microsoft webcam and it was absolutely terrible and also I forgot that I had to reconfigure my headset volume and yes I know activate windows um I changed out my RAM so it deactivated windows so I have to fix that um so I got this keyboard as a quick like um a kind of a temporary keyboard for this old Dell one here that I've been using forever for actually seven months um since I built my desktop. So this is, um, they're both membrane keyboards. This isn't actually a mechanical keyboard despite what it says on the box. Um, the backlight on video looks more blue. On here it looks more teal. Um, it has three colors of backlighting. You've seen this from every other review of this keyboard there is. You can do that, you can do a pulse of the different colors. And then you can do it so it pulses through all different colors. And do not tell me that. Hold on. Okay, this looks really purple on the camera. It is not purple, it is hot, hot, hot pink. Why does this look so purple on camera? That That is hot pink. If you buy this keyboard, please leave a comment in the section below um, that this is hot pink. But uh, pretty much, I was just getting this keyboard as a replacement for the Dell because I want to get a full-out mechanical keyboard in a, in a little bit. And I've never used a full-out mechanical keyboard for just everything in gaming. So I wanted to get something that would kind of be in between to kind of get more used to the feel. Um, first thing, I have used a mechanical keyboard uh, a couple times before. My friend has one. Um, these keys are mushy. They're very mushy. They feel mushy. These don't feel as... These feel a tiny bit more tactile. They make more noise. These sound more mechanical. These feel more mechanical, pretty much. Um, I'll show you. It's not a mechanical keyboard. There's the dome. Let me turn the brightness down. Right, right there. You can see it's a little membrane dome. Um, but other than that, that's like the first main impressions of the kind of keyboard it is. Now, here's the flaws. Uh, pretty much the main thing I do not like about this keyboard is, you can see here, this control key, this is, this is control. The paint is actually kind of nice and it, it's nice. It looks good when I'm sitting at my desk looking at this keyboard. Then next to it, the paint looks like garbage. The paint on the majority, this one actually looks okay. Don't know what that stuff in there is after it's paint or dust or something. The space bar is the worst paint job. It looks like it's fading in. Then this one here, this one's fine. This one's bad, this one's bad. Pretty much all the keycaps under them, the paint is very poorly done. I think they legit took a spray can, just went like this and went over the keyboard and just got it black that way and they had like a stencil on it or something. But you can see that on almost like every keycap. I'm going pretty fast, but you can see it definitely in the uh, these keys right here. You can kind of see it come up through the keys like right there it kind of it, it looks weird um the other thing i will say about this keyboard that i do not like which could have easily been avoidable but it is plastic plastic bends um the keyboard when i have it or when i have it set down it's not grippy at all let me refo refocus okay um so we got that and basically, the other issue is it bows. That's why it does that. You can, I don't know if you'll be able to see it here. Uh, so there's that in the middle. It goes down and touches in the middle. And then comes back up again. It's pretty much the keyboard's bowing down like that. It, it's pretty much a little bowl. 
so it does that and that makes it not grippy so I just I dropped my phone okay good it's not broke it's already broke um pretty much what I like is this thing here it's really smooth this thing here is really smooth that's minor because you don't ever touch those the keycaps feel all right they don't they feel cheaper but they're not like cheap 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 um it's i would say yes get it for 21 dollars, which is how much i paid i think it's 30 on amazon right now um know what you're getting pretty much there's a lot of reviews that are saying like this keyboard the best thing ever oh look at that braided cable it's so nice that blue braided cable with the keyboard that comes red by default Good job, DB Power. Um, on the bottom here, if anybody knows what this thing is, or if it's just a little thing, there's a little slot here in the back, if you can see. There's, a, like, a little slot right, yeah, right, right there. You can kind of see it. There's a little slot. Don't really know what that's for. Um, yeah, then you can kind of see specs here of the keyboard, which is, like, two specs. Pretty much 10 million keystrokes, 9 millimeter actuation force, or some shit like that. Pretty much, yeah, I will, I would say, I will have to get used to it. This one feels a lot more tactile than this one. This one feels mushy. I'll have to get used to it, but I feel like I'll benefit from it playing. Uh, I just have to put a grip on it, and then we'll be all set and ready to go. But that was pretty much the first impressions. I'm going to upload another video of this in about a week or two and tell you like my impressions then on if anything's changed or if I think you should still buy the keyboard um yeah pretty much that's gonna be it so I hope you guys enjoyed watching I'll be back in a week to follow up on this video look at that fancy b-roll type shot that was terrible, but pretty much that's the first impressions review of the DB Power keyboard. Um, thank you and uh, goodbye.